okay guys in this video tutorial we will learn that how we can plot the sigmoid function within the MATLAB for it first of all we must know that what a sigmoid function is sigmoid sigmoid function used to take some sort of input that is some range of values that is like minus 20 to plus 20 it can be any range like minus 100 to 100 and from 0 to 100 or anything that is either from minus to plus or from 0 to some on some positive axis but what it will do that it will convert some low values that is which ranges from minus 30 to 0 or minus 20 to 0 these are the low values it will convert these low values into zero and will convert higher values that is from 0 to 30 or 0 to 20 to 1 simply means that a conversion of low values to zero and the conversion of high values to 1 so here we will first we will write our input input is minus 30 colon 0 0.01 colon 30 what it is actually it is simply a range of values that starts from minus 30 and going towards plus 30 and what is this point 0 0.01 it is the step size it is the difference between the values between the two adjacent values just like the minus 30 and minus 29 are like minus 30 and the other element after minus 30 must be must having this difference so it, it is a complete range of values just like we will run it and we will see that we got our uh, input now we will write sig underscore function is equal to now seeing sig underscore func is also a variable okay now we will write our logistic or sigmoid function in it like one dot divided by why we are putting dot here because we want to apply this or divide this one with each value of the input okay with each value that is with each value of the input so that is why we are doing it also 1 plus exp of minus input the actual formula is sigmoid function is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus exponential raised to the power minus x and here x we are not uh, written x as an input we just wrote input so just write input here and then we will plot input comma sigmoid sorry so not sigmoid is actually sig function sig func and now we will run it and we will see that what it did also write grid down here for better visuality now here you will see that from minus 30 to minus 5 all the values are like uh, it converts all the values from minus 30 to minus 5 to it assigns the all these values to 0 and from all the values from uh, minus 5 or 0 to 30 as 1 as you can see so hopefully you got the concept regarding the sigmoid or logistic function so thanks for watching